For those who are just joining us, I was hoping to make a record a little closer to home. It's an all San Francisco record, and San Francisco places and people. And there's a lot of different San Francisco's, and they all kind of overlap. I think, if anything, we probably lean towards the more mythical version of events. San Francisco is more than just Alcatraz. We were looking for heroes, and then these characters just kind of floated to the top. was this character, uh, I don't know, he was like a cross between a Salvador Dali and a Martian, really. His skin was a canvas, and he painted it this permanent red. Nobody really knew much about him, but he was a permanent fixture of the mission here. And, you know, if you didn't see him for three or four days, you'd worry about him. He came from so far away. He would do this art, and I'm not a clinical psychologist, but if I was, I, I, I guess I could tell you this is schizophrenia or something, but I just like it. Later, this six-foot square portrait of Red Man just kind of showed up in my studio. I don't know where it came from or who painted it or who it belonged to, but, you know, it might be mine now. Introduce you to Patrick Winningham, one of my longest uh, running partners in crime. There's things Patrick knows about me that, that uh, you know, I really wish he didn't know, and I want to just leave it at that. I'm here to keep it straight. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at the corner of 16th Street and Albion. It may be called Delirium now, but it will always be the Albion. It was a total dive, and it had a back room back here for music, which was a total fire trap. We got $50 to, to keep the back room with music so they could sell beer, and we, we'd do four sets a night. Myself and Patrick Winningham, uh, Stephanie Finch, who was Patrick's girlfriend at the time, Stephen Yerke, a great songwriter from a band called Nonfiction, a guy from Louisville. I think J.C. Hopkins used to come down here and play. Mark Eitzel, Sean Coots, and they, yeah. they used to play back here. The place was a pit. It was, it was paradise. <laughs> This is the CSI portion of it. For a while, they had a stage here. I remember playing drums over there. Now it's like it's got a cement floor so, the, so they could just yeah. pose out the ecstasy and the sperm or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what but goes it, on. When we were playing, it was strictly Robitussin and yeah. red wine. Yeah, that's you true, know? actually. <laughs> nobody got a watered-down drink. Nah. And nobody ever had to stand in the rain to smoke a cigarette. This was heaven because, you know, we could just do what we wanted. You know, we would write songs during the week or maybe get together, and then on the weekend we would try them out, and if they didn't go over, we kind of would, during the week, we might, like, put them up on blocks and rotate the tires and pass the leaks and take them out the next weekend and see if they were seaworthy. As great as it was, it was, it was short-lived. I'm kind of in charge now, so right. you're just going to have to... We'll Trust. go with the flow. Trust. First time I met Stephanie, I may have been at this party, and everybody was passing a guitar around and singing and playing, and I started singing, and then she started singing along with me, and I really liked the way it sounded, and I was like, what's that thing you're doing with your voice? She goes, oh, that's, that's harmony. I was like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Life's no fairy tale. Doctors get diseases, criminals make bail. Little girl, little girl, little boy, little boy, tell me something I don't know. What makes a lamp to 
Tiffany, what makes the flower grow? Little boy, little boy. feel a little goofy pontificating on the whole process. Sometimes when you're in a room with somebody, you might just start playing some chords and shouting words at the walls. Nobody's afraid really to kick the songs around and abuse them. And, you know, I figure if it's not broke, break it. When it's over, I just wonder where the next one's coming from.